guys what's up good morning and welcome back Casey just left me home alone and he asked me if I was gonna vlog and I said no because tonight we're gonna do an educational vlog for you guys we already have it all planned out I'm super excited and then he left me home alone with no car so I don't know what I'm supposed to do this whole time so I figured why not vlog for you guys so a couple things that happened since we talked to you guys last night number one I am feeling so much better today I think I'm a whole new person I actually got up showered got dressed, right? So exciting. Number two, I blew up our microwave. I know what you're thinking. How the heck do you blow up a microwave? I was making popcorn, which clearly did not get made. And we heard this loud popping sound and I told Casey, don't worry, it's just my popcorn. That's not just popcorn. I have no idea. Oh, it smells awful, I'm shutting this. I have no idea what happened, but needless to say, Casey and I will be getting a new microwave soon. So if you guys have suggestions on microwaves, let me know. And I'm still sad I never got my microwave with popcorn. I was actually hungry for the first time in hours and I never got it. If you guys are curious if we're loving this new vlog camera, the answer is yes. It is the Sony A5100 in case you're wondering. I know someone did ask before, but this camera's awesome. There's a little flip screen. That's why I sometimes look up like this because I can see myself. It's super nice. I suggest it to anyone who wants to start vlogging. Um, although I do suggest you just start with your phone. That's what we did and it worked great. We have the iPhones X, X Max. What are they at now? I don't even know. Whatever the newest one is, the Max one, the big one, that's what we have and we really love it. So that works great too and I still use that if we're out and about and I don't bring my camera. I'd rather just get footage than not. While Casey's gone, it is my goal to attempt to take down Mount Thomason, AKA, a giant mountain of cardboard boxes that have just been piling up since we moved into this house that need to go away. They need to go so bad. And every day I'm like, hey, Mount Thomas in time? Casey says no. So he's gone and I'm just gonna tackle these. I'm gonna get it done. I want them gone forever. There it is guys, all of Mount Thomason in the bed of Casey's truck. I'm so glad to get those done. I left these ones here because I wanna ask Casey how he wants to do this or if we need to make two trips. Luckily we don't have to go very far. We're actually leasing a massive garbage can for the construction of the new shop and our contractor told us that it would be okay if we took some of this over there. So goodbye Mount Thomason, never come again. One of the things that you guys don't know about me is that I am such a go-getter, don't ask for help, just do it myself, heavy lifting or little chores like this in the garage, they don't bother me at all. I'd rather just get them done. And as much as I love, 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 love my sweet husband, he is a piler. Things just get piled everywhere and we have talks about it all the time. Trust me, there's plenty of things that annoy him about me marriage but um that is one thing that we are so different about i hate piles i hate piles on my countertops i hate piles in the garage so this project right here oh my gosh makes my heart so happy as you guys can see my garage is completely taken over by coffee shop life like this entire pile right here is all coffee shop coffee shop coffee shop coffee shop most of that was even coffee shop. Even my pantry is full of stuff for the coffee shop. And I know I shouldn't be complaining. Like what an amazing thing that I have this coffee shop and I have all of this stuff here at my house. I have espresso machines waiting to go in a brand new coffee shop. It's amazing, amazing stuff, but I won't lie. I just want my garage back. I just want it to be ours and have our house and keep the coffee shop separate. I know I've talked a little bit about it in other vlogs, but it's hard in a small business to separate your life between personal life and business. And this is one of those things that I'm like, please just give me my space back. I just want my house to be this place that I can go to that isn't always surrounded by the business. And I wish I could have my garage back. I mean, Luigi needs some space, guys. Luigi needs some space. So the reality of this is that I actually just filmed this awesome portion, 
potion potion for today and uh then i realized that the vacuum was going the whole time and i thought you guys would be super annoyed maybe it's gonna turn out great maybe you guys won't even hear the vacuum anyways the vacuum is off now and so i wanted to do, jump back where i was and just talk about how Casey and I have had this goal for so long. Um, it was an old goal, we've surpassed that now, thank goodness, but we had this goal where we wanted granite countertops so bad. And the reality of that goal was that we needed our business to be doing well enough to have enough money to be able to profit, to save all of that good stuff so that we could afford granite countertops. We ended up selling the house that we were in and buying a new house and that house did have granite countertops, which was really cool. And it was actually our dreams coming to fruition, but we didn't think about it that way. But whenever things would get super tough and Casey and I would be super tired or we'd just be frustrated or we'd be dealing with something that we don't want to deal with anymore, we would just remind each other, hey, don't forget granite countertops. And it was just like our joke for the longest time too, you know, like I, I would walk into the room and I'd be just be, and he would look at me and I'd be like, don't worry, granite countertops. Um, and then that happened, you know, we ended up getting this house that we loved with granite countertops. We've since sold that house and we've upgraded to a new house and this house has quartz, but still, you know, same diff. Um, but it's been amazing for us to set goals and to accomplish them. And so that's something that's really important to me, which is why I'm sitting down today and I'm writing down all of my goals for 2019. And I would encourage others to do the same thing. I don't care how big or how small your goals are, write them down. Because if you write them down, you can visualize them. And if you can visualize them, they can come. And don't be afraid to write big things, scary things. I wrote down um, a sales goal that I had last year and we were able to surpass that like crazy. But it was fun and it actually made me laugh to look at my goal because I remember thinking, oh my gosh, I don't know if this is possible. Um, and now I saw that it was possible. In fact, we <laughs> surpassed it. So don't be afraid to write down big goals, goals that scare you. But then also don't be afraid to write down goals that are obtainable because it's a good feeling when you accomplish goals. You know, for us, granite countertops, it was obtainable. At the time we were like, whew, man, that's expensive. It was like $5,000, but we wrote it down anyways, and we talked about it and we made it a part of our life so that we could come back to it and we could always accomplish it. Um, so that's my goal today. I'm gonna write these down and I'll check back with you guys after and I'll share some of my goals for 2019. Oh, janky setup failed me almost. Sorry guys, this light is not great. Oh, this setup is sketching me out. Look how much better that is. Okay, guess I'm gonna hold the camera. Okay, so I did it. Wrote down my 2019 goals. Dang, guys, I wrote fast and I wrote a lot. Apparently I was ready for this. Um, so I figured I could share all my personal goals. And then I'll share a little bit about Risa and I'll share a little bit about my photography. Most of my goals are um, symbolic this year. Like I never really talked exactly about numbers. I did a little bit, um, but most of my goals were kind of just like things I want to see or things that I expect of myself. Okay, so getting into it. Personal, um, I wanna get back into yoga and stick with it. I went like a year straight. I just freaking rocked yoga class. I loved it. Um, rocked going. I'm not the best at yoga, I, I won't lie. But I loved it and I loved how I felt. I loved my body when I was in yoga. So I wanna get back to it. It was so good for me mentally. It's so good for me physically. I don't know why I stopped. I do know why I stopped. It was wedding season and I was overwhelmed. I had so much going on. I couldn't handle it, so I stopped. But I'm ready to go back. Um, I wanna join the gym and attend a minimum of once a week. Here's the deal, last year I made a goal to work out what did I say? Let's check, I won't lie to you guys. I said that I wanted to work out five times a week. I really wanted to make it happen. I have a spin bike here at my house and I love it and I do ride it all the time. Honestly, wedding season happened. I got so busy between work and wedding season and editing and emails and everything and it just didn't happen. I didn't get to work out five times a week. So I'm gonna set my goal just a little bit lower but with me trying to get back into yoga, I also go to an adult ballet class, don't make fun of me, it's really hard, on Wednesday nights, and um, going to a gym once a week. That'll put me at working out at least three to four nights a week, plus I have my bike, so I think that it's totally doable. Um, and I think if I just tell myself, well, you only have to go to the gym once a week, 
then it'll make me want to go more. I do love the gym. I love fitness. I love working out. It's a big part of my life. I just get overwhelmed sometimes and I put it on the back burner. And so I want to work out at least once a week at a gym. Uh, drink more water. Duh, right? Be joyful. So this has been a big movement in my life recently. I watched a movie on Netflix called The Secret and it talks all about the power of positivity. And I'm telling you guys about it because if you haven't watched it, you should go watch it. It'll change your life, it changed mine. And so a big part of my life now is writing in my journal, which if you go watch kind of a day in the life vlog from last week, you'll see me writing in my journal. I write in it right when I wake up every day and I write in it right before I go to bed every day. And it's been changing my life as far as looking at the positives in my life, being joyful, being happier, um, being grateful for every single thing in my life. So being joyful is a big one. I want to spread positivity and be a light. That's along that same note. I just want to be so positive that I overflow with positivity onto others so that others in my life want to be around me and not see me as a negative light in their life. I want to be more patient with myself. This is huge. Um, my arm's this is huge for me because I get impatient. I want to see life just go. Like I want to quickly handle everything. I want to be the best, I want to do the best, I want to prove others wrong, I'm so competitive. And then I get mad at myself when I'm not there yet. You know, when I'm working out, I'm like, why don't I have this yet? And um, being patient with myself is really difficult. So it's a goal of mine for 2019. Um, as far as Brista, I want to find an amazing staff and lead them confidently. Uh, we have to hire probably 15-ish more people for that new shop and it has been stressing me out, I won't lie to you guys. So one of my goals is just to find the right fit for that shop um, with 15-ish more people and just lead them confidently. I also want to find a new norm. I mean, Casey and I have talked about it a lot in our vlogs. If you wanna watch it, go back. There's so many of our vlogs talking about it, but our lives are about to change greatly in the next couple of months. And we have to find a new normal for us because our whole thing that we've known for the past five years is about to change. For photography, I want to um, shoot 10 weddings. I'll share that with you guys. I used to shoot close to 25 and it was just too much with our lives. And then I backed it down to 20. And this year I'll be okay if I shoot 10. If I book more than that, I book more than that. But I just, it's a goal of mine to just kind of shoot 10, stay around there. I want to book two destination weddings. Destination weddings are my jam. I think I talked about it in a vlog and then I think I cut it out because of space. But basically, sometimes destination weddings are the only reason that Casey and I get out of town. And um, those weddings are awesome because we leave town, we go to the wedding, and then what we do is we typically just extend our stay while we're there and make it into a vacation. And we need that sometimes because it forces us to get out of town and go away. Destination weddings are usually really beautiful weddings. They're usually really unique weddings. And so they're my fave. So I want to book two this year. I want to shoot three editorials. Editorials are basically shoots for magazines. I have some awesome relationships with magazines and they're always asking for more recent work. So I'd like to set up and shoot three of those. Um, what's hard about editorials is that the cost of them is on me. So I just need to budget for them and make sure that I'm good to go. Usually a lot of the vendors I work with are amazing. They donate their flowers and their dresses and, and everything for the shoots, but I shoot film and film is quite expensive. Per roll, it cost me about $22. I average about 12 to 15 rolls during one editorial shoot. So, just have to budget for that. My arm is dead. Take my gummy vitamins and start this year off right. As I take my vitamins, I hope you guys have an awesome day and I hope that your goals for 2019 are amazing goals for you and your family. I hope that you're able to see those goals come to life. I know, I hope that all my goals come true and I'm going to work my butt off to make sure that they do. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great night. Go eat your vitamins and I'll see you guys next time.